Hello. Finally Friday, yeah? And we have a review, yeah? Usually I don't do, I say no to any like kinds of people try to ask me to review them on the channel, which are not really related with uh, what we are doing here. But, you know, I can't say no when it's about a power supply. You know, we, uh, I'm, I'm kind of addicted, always use volts and amps and things like that to diagnose the, the things. So what do we have today? We have a power supply. And this one is made by the same people, yeah? This one is made by the same people. They do the, you know, this USB-C solder iron, the T100 and T80, yeah? So the same people. I'm still looking for a, a extension on my desk so I can use this. But it's same, uh, same uh, clever people. So what we have here, we have a power supply, a mini power supply, a digital one. So when I say mini, mini for them means like 5 amps. You know my 5 amps one is like uh, 5 kilo. So we have a mini power supply, adjustable with a wireless screen, you know, what, what we can we wish more. So that's what we have to review today. 90 watts, input for 4.2 up to 30, yeah. And uh, yeah, it is doing logging and recording and USB firmware upgrade and all the good stuff. You know, if you are like a designer or, uh, I don't know, you do projects and playing with kids, this is like gold to have something like that. This is beautiful. Uh -huh. So what do you think? Let's test it, let's test it. I just got it now, the package is here. I just got it now. So I play a little bit, you know. I play, you know, I say, you know, I have to, I have to see what he's doing. And uh, yeah, that's the power supply. So we have two, we have the screen, the LCD, and we have the main unit. And actually you can use a lot of main units, all connected to a one single screen. As I think like eight channels connected by wireless. So you have a screen here. You have a screen here where you can set up the things. And you have the wireless screen. That's the one. Beautiful, yeah? So let's plug this one. 4.2 up to 30. I will use a Toshiba charger. <clears throat> Let's find a Toshiba charger. Toshiba charger 19 volts, yeah? And it's going perfect inside. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Now let's connect the... We have the cable to connect. And also this is magnetic. So here it's in a magnet, yeah? But we can connect the screen with a normal USB-C charger. <coughs> this is not USB-C. This is USB-C. And the screen is on. Okay, now let's power up this. So you have volts and amps. So simple. And you can see here, you have many channels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 channel rate. Maybe 6, yeah? So actually you can... Um, you can have more... Uh, more of this uh, power supply. Like a multi-power supply. Yeah, 6 channel. And you see it's connected by uh, wireless. And you see the MAC address. Details and you can see all the details, yeah. Okay, so we have the voltage, we have the arms, we have the ability to change. Look, you see, I'm changing the voltage, you probably can't see. 
Yeah, because my camera is funny. But anyway, you change the voltage. You can see here it's changing here. You can see the voltage is changing there. Let's say six volts. And uh, now it's on. When you when you turn this on, this get changed the colors. Yeah, get comes on. The light comes on. Sorry. So we have the volts and the amps, and now the limit is 350 milliamps. Yeah, when you change, you can see it's flickering. So let's say 400 milliamps. Yeah, now it's 400 milliamps, it's no light here. Now the light is on. So let's try and connect something. Yeah. This graph is very useful, especially when you do when you do like um, diagnosing the faulty things, because you can see any spike, like current spike, like voltage spike, you can see them on the graph. Otherwise, you can't see them. So we have the the thingy, yeah, the the wires, yeah, plus minus. And let's use, I have here, a light bulb. So we have a limit. 400 milliamps limit, yeah? I don't know if you can see on screen, but what we have to, what we have here, we have the voltage is 3.3, .3 because it's a limit on the current. The current here, it's, it's how much I set up, 400 milliamps. The voltage 3.3 .3, because obviously the voltage get drop if you don't have current yeah so we can increase the current so we stop outputting and I will go up with how many uh, let's say 500 milliamps 500 milliamps and it's on again yeah on this case now we have 500 milliamps and 4.5 volts and any you can see look look you can see any like you have a problem on the you have some you can see there you can see on the screen if you have any voltage drop or you have something which is switching auto protecting things like that uh -huh. what do you think this is beautiful and i will use this on our beginner lessons yeah so because i need a power supply and i home i have only the, that big one the 15 15 amps yeah 15 amps one but i'll use this one it is more easy to uh to be on screen yeah so what do you think about this huh let's raise the current If you keep press the if you keep press the set button you can scroll more so now we have 1.5 amps yeah 1.5 amps on and it's on and we have 6 volts yeah you can see 6 volts and the current the total current is 0 0.5 amps hopefully you can see hopefully you can see I know my camera is funny So what do you think about this? Useful. Let's try something more practical. Let's charge our phone battery. See what happened. Phone battery. From where I can get a phone battery. Hmm? Any idea? Come on. Any phone battery. Let me find one. Okay, I did found one. What about Samsung? Samsung battery. Let's charge it. We have 1.5 uh, amps limit. So we are safe. 5 volts is fine. Or 6 volts, how much it is. That's not a problem. The voltage is not really important because we have a current limit and the vo voltage will drop. Yeah. So plus 
and minus. I'm just curious to see what will happen because the voltage has to drop. Yeah. So we have three volts. Yeah. We have three volts. Let me connect the, the screen. We have a connector. Let me connect the screen. Good. So we have the battery. Let's try to see. Yeah, so it's no reflection now. Plus, minus. Plus, minus. Yeah, I don't think it's touching. I don't think it's touching the, the thingy. Hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, so now the battery has 3.1 volts and you can see how the voltage is going up. And the current is 1.5 amps because we set up 1.5 but it's reflection on the screen and you can't see. Okay, no problem because the screen... Ah, ah. So let's leave it like that. Let's try one more time. Minus plus. Yeah, I really need here some um, multimeter probes. For what we are doing here will be more... Uh, more practical. I tried it to keep it with one hand. Yeah, so now you can see 1.5 amps and 3.1 volts. And the voltage is going up 3.2 volts because the battery is charging. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice. But like how I said, I don't think I will use the power, the, this power supply here. Uh, not because it's not useful, because I need it for the beginner lessons. We will play a lot and we have to change the voltage and amps. Yeah? But anyway, I will leave a, li a link on the description. So you can... Uh, you can check yourself, yeah? See about the specs. Buy it if you like it, only if you like it, and you need it. Well, it's fantastic. This is like from the next level. <laughs> so you can see here, you have this screen, and you have the current and the amps. And you can use it even without the screen. So if you don't want to buy the screen, don't buy the screen. Just buy only the, this, this bit. Yeah. So you can use it without this. You know what I mean? It's working on the same way. Pretty nice. Yeah? Anyway. I will leave the link on the description. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Yes, on the next one. Bye.